Hi guys, welcome back to another action figure comparison video. Today I'm going to show you uh, all of my different Triclops figures. Um, so first up, let's start with Vintage. So this is his Vintage figure. Um, this is mine from childhood. Uh, at the time, uh, Triclops and Trapjaw came with this Castle Greyskull ring. As you can see, the, the black print on mine has worn off and the, uh, the ring clip broke when I was a kid so I used a piece of wire to um, to kind of fix it I just threaded it <laughs> through the through the holes in there and made um made this kind of ring so I could still wear it when I was a kid um now also in there if you open it up I don't know if that's gonna focus or not but it has the word masters written in there I don't know if you can see that yes um, so yes I used to wear this thing everywhere um, all the time when I was a kid. I loved it and I still do. It also glows in the dark as well. I don't know if you can see but shine a bit of a purple light on there, black light and it glows a little bit. Uh, yes and this is the Triclops figure. So mine has this really uh, defined face. There are a couple of different variants of this guy with different levels of um, definition in his face but mine is actually pretty good. His eyes spin freely as you can see. Um, yeah, mine has a few paint rubs. He's pretty heavily played with as a kid. He comes with this sword, which is also, uh, comes with Fisto. Um, yeah, so that is Vintage Triclops. Um, again, he was one of my favorites as a kid. I used to uh, take him with me pretty much everywhere. Okay, and then after Vintage came 2002. So this was the Four Horsemen's redesign of Triclops. He has this sort of window um, on the top of his head to let light through and actually if I could probably just use this you can see with the light shining in there well, it's not the best light his eyes actually uh, it makes his eyes look brighter I guess so he has a red eye a blue eye if you can see that and a green eye so yeah, it's, it's kind of a cool function. He also has an action feature. Press this button on his back and he kind of does this stabbing motion. <laughs> it's pretty gimmicky, but um, a few of the 2000X uh, figures came with that sort of gimmick action feature. Um, these figures also came in these sort of battle poses. Uh, and this is Triclops. He comes with this, um, this I guess, chainmail type loincloth. And yeah, so that, that's um, 2000X Triclops. Now he was also reissued a little bit later in the line um, with silver leggings, I guess. I don't know, they gave him pants. This neon green sword and neon green details. So as you can see, the different colored greens, there's a lighter green and a, a darker green. He also has his chest painted black and just different colored highlights all over him. Um, I think it was just a refresher um, version of him, I guess you would say, that Mattel released a little bit later in the line. Now also in the 2000X cartoon, uh, Triclops had this little flying tracking device. It would, you know, fly around and spy on the good guys. So this one was, this was included with the 2000X and this is the um, repainted version. So this one's cast in silver, this one's cast in just like a soft gummy green sort of color, a neon green. Okay and then next up uh, came the Classics version. So this is uh, Classics Triclops. Um, again he has the same sort of you know detailing as the vintage figure with a little bit of extra sort of stuff added in, which is what the classics were sort of famous for, I guess. He also has the sword holder on his back, as well as three knives that are cast, uh, sculpted there. They're not actually removable. Uh, and again, he comes with three eyes. He has a red eye, a blue and white eye, and a green eye. Now, it's a little known feature that underneath his eyes, he has this sculpted um, I don't know if I can actually get that on camera. Um, it's kind of like two sculpted uh, eye patches that cover his eyes with elect, and then there's some like little electronics 
coming out the side there. So that's a, a cool little feature that the four horsemen snuck in there uh, underneath the, the rotating eye sculpt. Uh, yeah, he's actually one of my favorites as well. I always liked Triclops as a kid. I think because uh, I've always liked Triclops as a character. I think because I had him as a kid, I liked him a lot. Now he also comes with, I think it may have fallen down somewhere. Mm, hold on a tick. Okay, sorry about that. So the, uh, the ring that comes with the classics figure, it's basically a reproduction of the vintage uh, glow-in-the-dark ring. It opens up and on the inside it has Masters of the Universe Classics. Let's see if I can focus that for you. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, it's a great little touch. It's a fun little accessory. I'm really glad that they included it. I think it um, was, yeah, just really cool of them, of Mattel. Um, there's the comparison, if you can <laughs> make out the print on that one still. Uh, and then next up is the Filmation Triclops. Uh, so I talked about him in my Filmation review um, previously, but I just thought I would show him again next to the other figures. Um, my main concern with this guy is, one, they changed the colour on a figure that we had already pre-ordered and paid for, which I think is just kind of a little bit disrespectful of Super 7. And the other thing is that they used an original ab piece that all the classics have used, the exact same piece, uh, but then they gave him a whole new torso sculpt. As you can see, this one's a lot thinner. Uh, than this one. This one's not quite. Uh, this one's not quite as wide as the classics. Uh, and because they used a whole new um, torso piece, it just doesn't fit together very well with the uh, existing ab piece. As you can see, like when he's standing up straight, there's this just weird gap in there that just makes him look like he's sucking his stomach in, or or something like that. Also around the back, I think that these pieces just don't match so well together the way that. Um, the classics versions do but um, anyway he's still a great figure I had to do the um, the heat up uh, trick on his visor so I could get it to turn it's still not super smooth but it's um, it's getting there and he also comes with this uh, paralyzer ray that is seen in the episode um, eye of the beholder um, from the filmation show yeah so I think that was a really nice touch I like when they include things like that um, so that is my Triclops review, so stick around guys and I will post some close-up photos. Thank you!